What's nationalism to you? I think nationalism is a pride in... So I think what they want to destroy... So there's an attack on nationalism, yeah? And nationalism, they're trying to make a terrible word, yeah? To break down our countries and to break down our society and to get us all into one group that they want, yeah? You have to break down the identity and you have to break down your history. So someone who doesn't know who they are, where they come from, or their history, or their belief, or the pride in their history, it will not be bothered about defending it. Um, and I believe that's a sustained attack that's happened. And I don't think there's anything wrong with nationalism. I think we need more nationalism. I think that um, every child, I think America's more successful on this. Whether it be because... Patriots and... Even the, even the... So they make everyone swear allegiance to the Stars and Stripes of the United States. It would be great if every school in this country was proud of the British flag and flying the British flag. And that, and when I say every school, I, don't, I mean Muslim kids should be brought in up. You're not going to... So long as you keep... Well, we're Pakistani, yeah? Because you can stop... I've got third generation Pakistani lads and I, and they class themselves as Pakistani. It's like... Is it going to be fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth? Because my mum's Irish, yeah? My mum's Irish come here as an immigrant. I'm English, okay? Mm. I'm English. And I'm as he, and, that, and, and that's the same for each one of the sons of migrants. And I've heard this whole debate. I just think that unless nationalism should be encouraged, should be encouraged, and there's nothing wrong with it. And they want to break that down. And Black Lives Matter, as to, you know, yours on about regrets. That was another regret I have, actually. Go on. Um, Black Lives Matter blew up, didn't it? I, man, this, it was, this is probably the most difficult period of my life when I come out against Black Lives Matter. And you know, I actually looked and thought, geez, Muslims take it pretty good. Because um, I've said a lot and I've battled against Islam for 10, 15 years. And then I started looking at it very differently because I thought, I see Muslims every day. Yeah? You only see a couple of incidents where I get a punch in the nose. That's, uh, they're pretty cool with it, with my criticism. And I didn't used to think they was. But when I went to come out against Black Lives Matter, damn, it blew up for me. It was the, it was the moment, it was the, they had the, the George Floyd death and the, the passion and the emotion. You've always screamed about not being racist. Yeah, and yeah. just, you know, it's religious tension, yeah. it's not racial tension. So if you go against BLM, it's going to look like you are more of yeah, a racist. It shouldn't, because BLM as an organisation, yeah, most people, I said to my mates, because I fell out of a lot of my mates from school, I said, what, you think BLM just formed over George Floyd? Been going 10 years. Yeah? It formed, it, it created over a lie. BL, if you, and this is where BLM is part of the same, it's all the same movement, yeah? George Soros funded. Antifa. And it's all the same, okay? Just rebranded. Very genius branding by Soros on BLM because putting the word black in it means you can't criticise it because most black people think you're talking about them. Very clever, yeah? Because it's the same, right? You go on their website. Not my website. Black Lives Matter website from the United States, the organisation that everyone was marched under the banner of. It says... We must destroy uh, the concept of the nuclear family. We want to get rid of mums and dads. Now, in the 1960s, 80% of black children in the United States live with their mum and dad. Now it's 20%. What does that do? What does it do by breaking up the family? It brings poverty. It brings crime. It makes black, pe black children like 100 times more likely to end up in prison because the, they haven't got a father figure. Who fills the role of the father figure? The gangs, the rap gangs, the culture that's being, being bred. And actively, this is the tarp. This is what they are calling for, Black Lives Matter. You should be calling for families. Family, you should be encouraging families to stay together. You need a father figure in your life. Yeah, yeah the stats are shocking. Or, uh, Insane uh, stats stand, uh, of what happens when you don't have a father. Single parents. Single yeah, parents. No father. And yet that's the goal of... So the two women who set up Black Lives Matter are both Marxists. How is that any? How is it any positivity in that for blacks? No, no I'm just see, I'm thinking of, of of the slogan. Is that definitely on there? Is it million percent? Yeah, the the, the list. Yeah, promote LGBT promote LGBTQ plus narrative. What's that got to do with Black Lives? Yeah? Mm. The whole thing is about destroying the family, the targeting of the family. To, it is about keeping blacks at the bottom. Yeah, and that's what's happened. And the Democrats are the party that have done that. They have kept, they don't want blacks succeeding. They don't want them to. They want them reliant on the state. This is about keeping an entire community of vote base who are reliant on the state, who don't see success, who don't see that they can be successful. They, they see that racism is to blame for everything when it's not. Right? And what, what I said, so when I, went, I went on this rant and it was how I delivered it. And it is the biggest regret because it caused my children so much upset because the circles I move in are white and black. I, I at school was the white boy of all the black boys. Yeah? My son's the same now. Okay, so all his friends, my daughter's friends, and they're the kids I welcomed into my, I love them all. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, 
But when I went on rant about Black Lives Matter, everyone, because of the way it was clipped and rappers, and it went so viral, you know, some funny videos, but which were mocking me, but it, it went viral because what I'd done is I watched the war memorial get smashed up in London, and it was the Commonwealth War Memorial. And it was under the and it was Black Lives Matter demonstration. They spray painted all over it. And then they attacked Wir Ch Ch Churchill statue. So then I made a video saying, right, next Saturday, every football hooligan in the country is coming. You're not smashing up our war memorials. Yeah? And I said, our war memorials. Yeah. And, and then and then people took that is this when it was all the statue taking of like the, the slave trade yeah that type of stuff was yeah it? it was at that time when everything was being smashed up and they were talking about ripping down Churchill and um and then they smashed up a war memorial and they spray painted all over it 